Yo, there's something I gotta show y'all. So, you know, I was setting up the settings to make it look nice before I even started the video, right? And it's, it, this game, I knew it was crazy, but it's just shit's insane. All right, so it, let's just do this real quick, whatever. This is, this is completely different. This is completely different. This is so much different. Bro, so when I first did this, it like asked for the time. So I took the time and manually inputted. I manually inputted the correct time, which is like 10.53. What? Occubonical, that's, that's pretty cool. And then, fuck it. Do you know what time it is right now? Yeah. The, the time that is right now, the cor yes, I think so. What is the time any, what is it? What is time anyway? Uh, yes. Is there anything about yourself that you haven't told me? Yeah, it's a lot. Help, no. Will you come back to visit me? Yeah. As I was saying, like I inputted like, you know, so I was doing all my settings, getting that shit right. And they, I put in my correct time and I closed it, right? So I opened it back up and I was like kind of st doing the default options. But as I chose the default option, he was like, are, are you, you sure, sure about, about that? that? Are, you, are you sure it's 12 o'clock, my nigga? And like, I got pressed into making the right time. This, we're just gonna go, okay? It's, I don't want to sit here and talk ear off. But this is the go. story of a man named Stanley. Okay. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. All right, all right. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Relatable. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk. It's kind of loud. Him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. No off days? And although others might have considered it soul-ending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. Why are you walking in past tense? Why are you saying was? What, what and happened? then one day, uh, something very peculiar happened. Yeah. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. Yeah. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour, when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. Okay. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. Okay. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Okay. Let me just change some things real quick. Hold on. Why'd you stop? That's some good ass music. All right, all right, we're good now. Yeah, so uh, uh, how y'all doing? You know what I'm saying? I didn't really give, I, I was just so, gone. I can't even what talk. What could it mean? Uh, apocalypse? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Uh, okay. Yeah, I, I seen a lot about this game. Like when it first came out, you know, with Corey and Markiplier. And like, it just seemed cool as shit. I don't really, I don't know all the ending. I just know like, that like he, he talk, the voice talks to you. And like, if you Stanley disobey. Stanley around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference nor did it advance the story in any way. Yeah, 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 yeah. and that happens, this is... <laughs> I've been wanting to play when this Stanley game. Stanley came to a set of two open doors, okay. he entered the door on his left. Fuck you, I'm, I'm gonna be, uh, uh... This was not the correct way to the meeting room. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Knew it I'm not gonna well. listen to you. Perhaps for a little bit, for a little bit. Perhaps he to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Yeah, 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 I'm just gonna admire the employee lounge. Ah, <sighs> yes. Truly a room worth admiring. It's a nice room. It had really been worth the detour after all. Wait. Just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, uh, okay. I beautifully thought that, constructed room. I thought that was room. my time. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Yeah. But basically, but I've been... eager to get back to business, 
Stanley took the first open door on his left. I mean, like, what's there, though? That looks, that looks crazy. What's that? What is this? Stanley was so bad at following directions, I'm it's bad. incredible he wasn't fired years ago. I am ago. bad at directions. But th I, this game is just so cool to me. I've been wanting to play this for a while now. It's, it's, it's cool as shit. Hi, die. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. Uh huh. I'm not your enemy, really. I'm not. Do I want to fall? I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but yeah. the fact is that the story is being yeah, I don't care. nothing but you. But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Yeah. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. Thanks, man. <laughs> oh, we're just back. Let's just follow his directions and sound. Yo, Yet tips there was for not, not a single getting person fired. Here either. Damn. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. I know I already Coming said, like... staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. What's, well, what's down here? Hold on, I said I was going to listen. I said I was going to listen. Let's just listen for a little bit. Damn, boss, you got a nice-ass office. I'm kind of jealous. Executive bathroom. Damn, money in the morning, money in the evening, money for breakfast, money, Chris. All right. Nothing. Can't see myself. Nice bathroom, though. Got a nice little view of nothing. This is like receptionist on some shit. That's the office. What's this? What the fuck? Why, why you have a gun at a panda? What the panda do to you? Oh, I can just ride the elevator? I'll follow directions. I'll follow... There, there, there is so much to explore about this game. I'll do that on, on some other time. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, yep. unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? Really? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. Really? And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Mm -hmm. Two, eight, four, five. Yeah. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. I mean, like, do you want me to leave? Like, I'll, I'll leave if you want. I'll, t I'll go to the elevator. I can't leave. Okay. Well, you're not giving me a choice here. I have to go off script. All right. Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs. Trying to input anything on the device would get incredibly by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad. Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. This is this is great. This game. I'm really speechless about this. Is, this is a lot. I'm having a lot of fun right now. Do I just fall? Oh shit. Uh, where do I, where do I go? Guess I just fall down. Oh, I didn't know there was a little platform here. I thought it was just nothingness. Oh. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. I did? It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself. To question the nature of his job. Mm. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This Great question. question would not go unanswered for long. Okay. This is. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Why would I do that? Or escape? I set off all directions, and I can make like 20 videos on this game alone, bro. I I'm not in no rush, bro. I, I, I'll just, I'll just do what you tell me, gangy. It ain't. I'm. It's... I was going on, yo. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. Yep. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Looks like that fucking one place from Star Wars where like the niggas is fighting and shit, but like it's monitors instead of fire and shit like that cameras now the monitors jumped to life oh Their damn true nature revealed 
Four, Each bore two, the where, number of me? an employee in the building. Where's me? Stanley's co-workers. Oh. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. 427. I'm right there. CCTV. There's my office right there. This shit's crazy. An elevator? This mind control facility What's going was on? too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? I guess. Let's go up. No. He refused to believe it. Yeah. He couldn't accept it. Was his it? own life in someone else's control? Never. It no, was yeah, unthinkable. Never. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Well, I don't even know what to say. I'm really speechless. The, proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. My control Happy status. Or fine. sad. Or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. Oh. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. What's this button? For he would dismantle oh. the controls once and for all. Okay, yeah, I guess I'll do that. What's this five? I'm just hitting shit. What'd that do? Uh, uh, nothing, nothing happened. Uh, okay. Mind controls idle, awaiting input. Okay, got some code. Mind control system power. And when at Off last he found on. the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place. And to everything it stood for. Yeah. I mean, yeah, Turner. I mean, like, I. Bro, this is this is crazy. Let's turn it, turn it off. Turn it off, bro. It's like with him talking, me just like trying to wrap my head around it. Blackness, and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? I don't know. He had won. He had defeated the machine, unshackled himself from someone else's command. Mm. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Exactly. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? Mm -hmm. But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, oh, I can go. he realized none of this mattered to him. Uh, I, I, for it was I, yeah. not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his mm. goal had not been to understand, but to let go. Mm. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. It's like, what if I just like didn't? You know what I'm saying? Like, what if I just like sat back here? Like, would you say some? No, you're just gonna. Like, I'm gonna go through there. I'm just like, you know, like, were you like, what the fuck are you doing, Stanley? You gonna? No. All right. I'm. Bro, so much happened in this episode. Just from me, like, you know what I'm saying? Talking about it. All this shit happening. It's just like, fuck, this is about to be... And this is only the first episode, and it's... Ah, it's gonna be Stanley great. Stanley felt the cool be great. breeze upon his skin. The feeling of liberation. The immense possibility of the new path before him. Yeah. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. So like a true ending and on some Stanley shit. And Stanley was happy. Nice. And I'm back at the beginning. I knew it was going to be crazy, but like actually like playing it and the scene, all the act, like the actions you take 
dictate how the game's gonna go and the narrator narrating your own actions. Shit, it's, it's, it's crazy. I don't know how to put it. It's just crazy. It's great. It's fun. And I just can't wait to play the fuck out of this series. <laughs> it's gonna be so much fun.